How's it going everyone? Wild Dang here and welcome to a brand new Destiny video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the Oryx challenge mode on hard mode. So the first thing you want to know is that you need to keep all the bombs intact until the fourth round where you can detonate all 16 bombs in one go. So each corner is going to have four bombs on it so each person that runs into these bombs will detonate four bombs at the same time. So basically starting off, what we did was obviously you've got to kill your knights this time round. So if you're one of these people that don't kill the knights and leave them wandering around and also keep the ogres alive, you have to kill everything basically. Just destroy everything. It should be a high enough, high enough light level now to be able to kill everything and not have to feel like you keep the knights alive. So our tactic was to have two titans at least. And these two titans stayed up on top of the sisters towers so they popped their bubbles so we had one with blessing and one with weapons of light those two guys basically were in control of all the ogres and knights people on podiums did kill the knights as well or anything that they could see but mainly their job was just to try and stay alive so the guys at the top were killing all the ogres and the knights whereas I was a person that was running around the top jumping on the platforms to grab the relic or whatever it's called, drop down, grab the shield off the knight and then run back to the middle to protect everyone. It's pretty much exactly the same as you guys would do before if you killed the knights. It's not that difficult at all, you've just got to get into the mindset where you don't have to run out to your bombs anymore, you can stay safe in the middle, kill all the adds, create as many orbs as you can. So basically after each round of killing orbs you're going to get teleported to have to then kill the shade. Uh, instead of having to run around missing all these bombs uh, which is pretty good so it's, it's not too bad as long as you've got powerful weapons you've got good communication you know what you're doing it's, it's really easy just make sure you get a group that know what they're doing and communicate well like I said and you should be good to go I mean obviously it took us it took us a fair few attempts but we got it in the end and we've got the we've got the routine down to a T now we always just make sure that we always have two titans in the group for those bubbles at the top and yeah the other characters don't really matter it doesn't matter at all as long as you've got some hunters maybe to make some orbs that's all i can say and uh, my loadout what i was running was obviously touch of malice now mine's 320 so i'll be accepted onto all of those lfg websites i was running a 320 thousand yard stair and a 319 raid machine gun i forget the name of it but it, yeah it was a 319 machine gun just to take out the shade pretty much just so i can shoot that quite a lot um other people were just running i think every one of us had touch of malice on and a sniper uh, that's pretty much all you need to know really we were all above i think we we're all near 315 and above but we even do this from 311 it's not really it's really not that difficult so basically all you need to do is detonate all 16 bombs at the same time. It doesn't matter if someone dies throughout this whole process but obviously it's not going to help you guys. Just so try and stay alive just to help your teammates out. So the main thing you want to do is keep all the bombs in the same area so one person can detonate all four at the same time. Have that happening on each corner for where the orbs are or bombs whichever you want to call them save all of them until the last round so you're going to do four rounds of killing ogres save those bombs blow them up oryx should then have no health if he's still got health then wipe and start again and then obviously oryx will pop up in the middle for you to kill and get your loot so what you get from this one is you get a ship which everyone thought was bugged but it's actually not so yeah you get the ship you get a nice new emblem you get a calcified fragment a 320 weapon or piece of armor I believe I got a 320, I think it was 320 auto rifle. You also get the shader from Eris Morn, which is not a great shader, unfortunately. Um, I don't like it. You also get a 320 artifact, like every other challenge. So you should have artifacts coming out your ears now. So, anyway, guys, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please do smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one ultras i know a lot of people instantly thought they had to kill these taken on their sparrow whilst playing sparrow racing league but that is not the case you can just shoot them instead the first thing i did was go to the citadel on venus 
Whilst there, I waited for the Taken to spawn, killed as many as I could, then killed the Ultra that spawned after killing the Lieutenants. I just